welcome back to the channel today we're gonna to look at some sports equipment this is a vintage hockey goalie mask probably from the 60s see it has patent pending on there kind of helps people date things it's got terrible padding and stuff on the inside but it's kind of cool like it's been hit a few times looks like somebody might even shaved around the eyes a little bit um, let's get into some baseball equipment got a few gloves here here's a Ted Williams Hall of Fame model 1966 you just barely see his name on the little finger there and this is a Sears brand. It's seen better days. The label is worn pretty badly. But it's, it's cool. It's a Ted Williams club. Next one. This one's for the 21 club. Roberto Clemente Rawlings glove. It's kind of a red tint glove. Someone had written their name on it and stuff. Well... Well loved glove. But it's just cool finding gloves with great player names on the inside. That's what I look for when I look at look for gloves. This is a Mickey Mantle. You can see on the heel there. Mickey Mantle glove. There's no uh, label there. Not really sure what brand it is. I'd have to do some research. Sometimes you can tell by the buckle. I'm not at that point with the gloves where I know what brand it is by the buckle. There's another Mickey Mantle. That one has a nice stamped name in there. It has the old 50s look to it. Needs a little help here. Maybe restring the webbing a little bit. It also has a little bit different button there. Next one is a Another Mickey Mantle type. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's really hard to see. That's a nice old 50s looking glove. The fat fingers and it's just got a plain buckle there. Then we get into a couple catcher's mitts that I have. This one needs a little work on it too. That's a Yogi Berra Spalding mitt. And the last glove that I have. Uh, oldie but goodie. See it says Bill Dickey there. Another great Yankee catcher. Here's what the back looks like. Lots of padding in the thumb and up above there. And I don't know that logo looks familiar. But we'll move on anyway. Let's move on to baseball bats. Here I have a Mickey Mantle special. Louisville Slugger. It's post, it's after 64. I'm pretty sure. 
but it's a 125S. It's not his actual model that he used, but it's um, the special model. And here's the next bat. It's a Jackie Robinson 125 model. And that's also from the 60s. And this one, I think we'll save that one for later. But here's a Adirondack, a Lou Gehrig type bat. This is probably from the 40s or 50s. White ash. I have to look it up. I mean, there's a lot of research that goes into these bats, and I know just uh, basic, uh, basic stuff about them. And this one is a. This one's probably from the 20s. It's a Bill Terry model. See the Reg U.S. pat pat off on the bottom there. That helps date it to the, that era. And it's got the trademark reg on the bottom of the trade trademark 125 bt for bill terry and these are all store model bats they're not game used bats um they'd be very expensive if they were game used bats and the last one it's a safe hit model of babe ruth the louisville slugger That's some of the equipment that I have on hand. I probably got about 50, 60 baseball bats. Um, and, you know, they take up a lot of room. So you got to be real limited on what you're buying if you don't have a lot of space for them. But it's, it's fun. I like looking at them. I like picking them up. Same with the gloves, hockey mask, you know, whatever equipment I can find around. It's just a fun part of the hobby. And I uh, appreciate everybody stopping by and hope you all have a great week.